a website called MMA Payout. Uh, how you doing? Good, brother. How you doing? Good. It looks like you, you're you. I got you in the middle of a training session. Are you done, or are you in the middle of it? No, we just finished. We just finished. Uh, I, I trained with my coach uh, from uh, High Performance Motors, Coach Greg. So we just finished. Awesome, awesome. So where are you at right now? Are you in California? I'm in Riverside in my in my gym at the uh, Original Grapple Training Center. So uh, right here. Uh, awesome. <laughs> so we awesome. just finished what can Yeah. So how is the, I used to live in Southern California. I remember Riverside being really hot. How is the weather right now? It's still hot. <laughs> it's still hot. It's not as crazy, but it's been hot this couple of few weeks. Okay. And I was I was just looking on your your kind of kind of doing some background on you. It sounds like you 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 were at the training lab. You worked out at the training lab before. Is that correct? With Mark. That's Munoz? correct. Yeah, yeah. I, I was training there from. Uh, 2017 all the way to 2020 and then uh, the kind of the team kind of fell apart so then i went back to my home team uh, millennia mma okay but i, I was training yeah were you training with mark munoz or was it more uh, other people at that at the lab no mark munoz was there uh okay. we had a good group of coaches mark munoz uh, daryl christian uh it, it, it was packed it was a lot of people Dwayne ludwig would come every once in a while but it was good Gotcha. So, hey, you were not supposed to be on this card. All of a sudden, you uh, you got put on to play, to fight Saul, Saul Rogers next week. When did you first learn you got you got the call? I so I got the call last Friday. Uh, they told me that Adam is hurt. If I wanted to jump in, take the fight, I said, "Yeah, absolutely." Send me the contract. And they said, "Okay, well, we gotta let Saul's team know and see what they say." So they didn't get back to me till Monday. And then Monday, they said they sent me the contract, and uh, I just signed the contract, and uh, you know, fighting uh, on September 18th. Awesome. So, were you, I mean, I assume you were already kind of in fight shape, uh, where where you wanted to be to to uh, go ahead and agree to the fight. Were you were you ready, or were you, were you just kind of uh, sitting on the couch? <laughs> I assume you weren't sitting on the couch, but were you were you ready? No, no I, I I never. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm always in fight shape, uh, no matter if it's a COVID season or no COVID season. You know, I, I, I train. <laughs> I, I don't stop training. This is, this is me. This is part of my life. So uh, I, I knew sooner or later that that phone call was going to come. Um, and I just stayed ready, man. I didn't take any time off for my last fight. I didn't get no serious injuries for my last fight. So I just stayed ready. Uh, I've been uh, <clears throat> helping out with a few guys like Brian Ortega, Cub Swanson, and just training with them. and. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel good about this fight. That's why, that's why I took it. Awesome. Awesome. And so you, this, you are at, you're at 155 or now, uh, correct? You, you, you're not, you're not going to be, you're not dropping down the featherweight. How has the weight division been for, for you? 155, this is your true place to be the, where you want to be? Yeah, it's been great. It's been great. I, uh, I walk around the most 170, uh, the day of the fight, I probably step on a cage at 168, 169. Uh, this is the weight I train at, uh, and the weight cut is. You're, you're Hello? Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> so the, the weight cut is uh, the weight cut is uh, is easy at 155, not like uh, not like 45. So uh, I just work on my craft. I get better throughout the whole year. And, you know, with the 45, it was just too much weight cut, weight cut, weight cut. And 55 is my division. Uh, I, I know I give out some height against some fighters, but I really don't care. I mean, my last fight with Kiefer, he was way taller than me, bigger than me. But it doesn't matter. I've been doing this for so long. It just, uh, what I'm happy is I'm not worried about cutting weight. I'm just going. That, that that that's awesome, and so uh, do you know? Uh, do you know anything about Saul Rogers, or, or was this kind of a one of the things where you just wanted to get in there and fight? No, no, no. I I knew about Saul Rogers. He was in the featherweight division, and I looked him up a long time ago. We actually shared uh, locker rooms back in 2019 when he fought Vitriol and I fought AJ. Uh, I did look him up. I watched all these fights in Ultimate Fighter. I watched his fights in uh, last two fights in Bellator against Bychill and uh, Mads Burnell. So I, I studied him. You know, I'm, I'm the one that's going to go in a cage there with them. 
my coaches studied him, but uh, I study my uh, the fighters I'm going to fight too, so I know quite a bit about him. Uh, so do you do your own tape study, or do you rely on your coaches to do, do, do that kind of study? I, I do it. My coaches do it. My training partners do it. But mainly I, I do it too, you know. I, I'm going to be in there. So I'm not one of those fighters that, oh, yeah, I can't look up. No no tape on my opponent, but I, I love it. I love, I love watching it, studying, breaking down, seeing what is good at, what is bad at. So, you know, I do my homework. Gotcha. And so this is in San Jose. Are you going to fly up? Are you going to drive up? Uh, it's, it's a very close location for you. It's a good thing for you. you, you if it's a short flight or a short drive, uh, it's better than going across country. Uh, what, what, how are you going to get there? I'm going to fly out. I'm living Monday. So I'm living here from Ontario, California. It's a one hour flight. Uh, I was planning to have my family come out there so I could drive back, but it's going to be a big deal. So I'm just going to go fight and fly back and see them on Sunday. But yeah, just flying. Nice. Nice. It's, it's, it's great. It's a short flight for, uh, from Ontario Air, airport to uh, San Jose. Uh, so now you're taking this fight in September um, I know you 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 kind of wanted to do the <clears throat> do the event um, in Russia in October. Um, does that preclude you from being uh, from being on that thing? Are you still going to lobby to be on that on that that fight card? No, I was told by Bellator that I could, that card is full, oh. so I was bugging and I was like, "Hey, you better give me anything. You better give me anything. Put me on the English card." Like I was, I was literally bugging Bellator every day. Right after I was done with Kiefer, I was texting him, "Hey." Or about the Russia card, you know, because I have a very, very strong fan base in Russia. Uh, but again, my fighter side understands why they put certain fighters on that card. And there's certain 55ers, I'm not going to mention their names because they don't deserve me to mention their names. They're fighting a catch weight and they're representing a lightweight, but they're, they're ranked the number six in lightweight, but they're fighting a catch weight the next fight. So, I know the whole politics of this game, so of this industry. I'm, I'm going to play long. I'm not going to piss off a lot of people. But, uh, you know, like I said, this is my last fight on the contract. I'm looking to go out there and put an exciting fight so uh, so they can resign me. And then, and then, hey, you might be ready for, for uh, October in Russia. Who, knew, who, might fall in, who knows who might fall out? But so this is your Brother, last... I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> so this is your last fight on the contract. You're looking to resign, correct? I'm looking to resign. This is my 19th fight for Bellator, but uh, at this point in my career, uh, you know, I, I'm taking this very serious this next few years, so I need to get, get good, serious money. You know, like I said, this is my 19th fight. There is a few lightweights in the division making more than me, but it's okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just going to shut them up in a cage, and they're not going to have no option just to pay me to keep me there. Well, Georgie, I really appreciate your time. We'll be watching Saturday, September 18th. I'm glad you, you stepped in uh, last minute to, to face Saul Rogers. We'll all be watching and uh, safe travels to San Jose and uh, ha have a good, have a good uh, rest of the fight camp. Thank you, my brother. Did you do Ironman? I see the Ironman. I, I did Ironman. I've done it. Uh, it's my third one. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing Sacramento uh, in October. Holy shit. All the respect to you, brother. Oh, that's yeah. that's the next you, level. Thank you so much. It's, it's, hey, I don't want to get hit in the face. I can do the other stuff too. <laughs> thank you, my brother. All <laughs> right, man. Take it easy. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.